Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager video training series. My name is Murtaz Hossain and I am a Director of Product Management for Enterprise Manager. In this recorded demo, I'll be showcasing dashboarding capabilities for EM app for Grafana. So essentially the goal of this demo series is to get folks familiar with the rich feature sets of out of the box dashboards. These dashboards are particularly designed for Oracle database as a target. I do want to mention here that this demo assumes that the user has already downloaded and set up Grafana server and has added Oracle Enterprise Manager as a data source for this app. This is the main welcome screen once you log in into Grafana user interface. On our left hand side, we can see dashboards that we have set as favorites and below that you can see dashboards that have recently been viewed by users. Now let's go ahead and bring up the first out of the box dashboard that we will be talking about. On the left hand side, click on the four square icon, then click on the manage icon in the drop down to go to the main dashboard page. Okay, so this is the main dashboard page where you can see both out of the box and custom dashboards that have one has saved over time. Now let's search for out of the box sample dashboards by typing sample on the top search box. These are the two out of the box sample dashboards that one gets as part of EM app for Grafana. Let's review the sample database performance report dashboard first. Okay, so this is how the dashboard looks without selecting any DB source. Now in the next few steps, I'll showcase how to set up a valid database source. On the left top side drop down for EM data source, let's select a valid EM site. Next, we are selecting the relevant database, Oracle database in this case. Then on the right hand side drop down, we will select exact database, which is SIC DB21 in this case. This is how the DB performance report dashboard looks like over here. We are showing typical DB metrics such as DB time per second, CPU usage per second, average active sessions, current logon count, and so on. Now let's deep dive into the top left panel. That is DB time per second to view the various settings under the hood to actually see how we are collecting this data. Click on the drop down and select edit from the list. So here we see the variable created $OEM $GF underscore site, which is essentially based on the variables selected on the top in terms of EM site, target type, and target name. I just want to mention here quickly, if you want to select a variable, then there is other options to select as well, such as shown in the dropdown here, such as actual EM site name or default value. As this is time series based dashboard, we have selected time series from the query type dropdown. Now here you have various series time options, such as raw hourly daily, based on which one can query the data. For this panel creation, we have selected raw out of the box. Next is the target type. The default setting is a variable set here based on the target type set above. One can also specify actual target types as shown here from the dropdown if need be. Next to that is the actual target. Similarly, a default variable is created for the target too. Other values of individual targets can be set according if need be. Lastly, in the metric group selected, the tool is picking up system time model as the default. However, the user can select other metric group from the list depending on the use case. Lastly, here is the list of metrics that the user can select for the selected target and metric group. The default setting for this panel is DB time per second, and that is what is shown across the time series on the top. Now on the top, there is a drop down to select the amount of data a user wants to select based on the timeline. It can range from minutes to weeks or months worth of data pulled. Now on the right hand side of the menu, Grafana UI offers other settings such as panel title you want to associate with the individual panel and the description of the panel right below that. Next, let's look at the different type of visualization which are offered by Grafana. Default is selected as graph for this panel, but we can select stat to see how the visual changes on the fly. Once and if you make any such change to graph type, one has to save and apply the changes. Okay, now that we have done with demonstrating the capabilities of one of the out of the box dashboards, let's move on to the next out of the box dashboard, which is a non time series based. Like before, let's click on the four square icons on the top bar. Then click on the manage icon to come to dashboards list. 
search for sample dashboards on the top search bar and then let's click on the first option which is sample dashboard configuration report as expected the dashboard doesn't have any data populated let's now set all the necessary parameters on the top to import the data so let's select em data source and respective target type and target names for the specific tv now these are the various panels that database configuration report dashboard comes such as instance information status or db options db parameters and so on as seen most of this data is in tabular format rather than against a given timeline in order to better understand the various settings of non-time series dashboard under the hood let's further investigate the top panel instance information by clicking on the drop down after clicking on the drop down let's click on the edit icon on the top we can see the various parameter associated with this db instance and in the bottom half of the screen we can see the settings that are needed to display the data on the top by default the query type is selected as norm time series now on the series we have selected custom repository option meaning that we are pulling data directly from omr which is oracle management repository note that this is required in order to write custom sql query against omr which is the db repository over here in the bottom section which is the query section i do want to highlight a couple of things that is first what you see here is a custom sql that is written by default as part of the autos box dashboard experience this can be further modified if needed based on users use case second thing is that it is utilizing well-known oem mgmt dollar views to pull this target level data all right folks that's all we have in terms of capabilities and various functions offered by out of the box dashboards for this app thank you for watching and for your information you can always visit the link provided herein for more details happy dashboarding